In a world where questions of life and death are decided by a random number generator, humanity comes face to face with an extraterrestrial menace hell-bent on subjugating mankind. Now, with the fate of the human race hanging in the balance, we're putting our differences aside. But what if a soldier doesn't want their head chopped off and stuck on a robot body? I mean, we all gotta make sacrifices. Look at me! I gotta work with your dumbass, Bradford. Gathering our best and brightest. The alien's technology is vastly superior to our own. It took three weeks to figure that out? And rallying the troops. How are those rookies looking? Well, they're either too slow, can't aim, or they crap their pants at the first sign of trouble. Otherwise, they're great. Two. Yes. Fight. Yes. Oh. Oh. Back. <laughs> Floaters don't, and that is why Shakespeare is less than Kid Rock. This summer, while the world's governments provide just enough funding to convince their citizens they're doing something, we are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project. Are they far. serious? That won't even cover the maintenance for the interceptors, Council Pricks. A ragtag group of misfit soldiers from across the world will come together. Lord Said. Egyptian bat. You better shut your mouth, sugar titties. Huzzah! To turn the RNG in mankind's Damn favor. Well there, boys. Looks like that little skinny freak is overwatching. Don't sweat it, boys. Hey, Old Ruiz is a scout, and I learned this thing called lightning reflexes. I totally you gotta got this. Zigzag. Oh, 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 what happened to Ruiz? Or maybe not. <laughs> it's a sky range of flight to the gates of hell, and we saved you a seat. Why? Because that's XCOM War Stories. Baby! Uh, reporting in here from the cockpit. Uh, looks like we got some meteor showers, so pretty good chance of some turbulence. 